Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cow mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're gonna make your slides amusing. We're gonna keep things simple this week and learn how to make use of a triangle infographic that is fancy. How about we get started? Step one, make the triangle infographic. All right, just a word before we start this, um, do keep note that I did bring in another key displayer software. So now you can just follow my cursor and know exactly what I type, exactly what I press, and exactly what I click. See what I mean? Right here. Boom, boom. You can see how everything, you know, follows the cursor. I can even type stuff. You can see, you can even put some little keys there. So you guys are set from that and it should make it a lot easier for you guys to follow. And I'm after you guys learning, right? That's exactly why I did it. So let's get on to this step. The first thing that you guys want to do is you want to go to insert, click on shapes, and then click on this triangle right over here. You want to hold shift and just blow up the image just like this. Be sure that you center this image as well. So it's in the middle of your slide, right? Now click on your shape, press control D and make it smaller. Something like this would be fine. And now, Position this smaller shape into the middle of this triangle, right? Something like this. Actually, I think that's a bit too small. So I think this gap would be perfect. All right. So once you're happy with that, what you want to do now is you want to highlight everything, go to fragment, go to merge shapes, and then click on subtract until you're left with something like this. Now what you want to do is you want to go to insert, click on shapes, and then click on this rectangle over here draw something out that looks like this, right? Let's change it to a different color so you guys know exactly which one I'm talking about and where it is on the slide. And I'm just gonna rotate it like this. Now, I'm gonna add an extra step over here. I'm actually going to go to uh, the same shape, click on format, click on shape fill, and actually go to more fill colors and change the transparency to 50% so we know exactly where we are. So this would be fine. What we're trying to aim for here is we're trying to capture both corners, right? the uh, inward corner over here and the outward corner, just look over there. So this I think would be okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just keep that in mind, please, right? I'm just gonna make mine slightly thinner by pressing shift down like this. And I think that we are good to go from that end. So I'm now going to click on the shape first. Then I'm gonna click on the rectangle that we just made over here. I'm going to, actually before I even do anything, sorry, I wanna duplicate this rectangle because we are gonna use it later. So back to the same step, triangle first, rectangle second, go to format, go to merge shapes, and then click on subtract, which is just over there. All right, awesome. So with that done, what I wanna do now is I wanna split this triangle in half. And the reason why is because I want it to be as symmetrical as possible, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to insert, click on shapes, click on this rectangle over here, and I'm just gonna draw out a rectangle that goes directly through the triangle just like this, right? It's covering half of the triangle. I'm gonna make sure both of these shapes don't have an outline because you, you would be surprised to know this, but you know, when you start to fragment shapes and merge shapes and whatever, outlining the shape does actually have an effect on the final outcome. So I'm going to click on this triangle. I'm gonna click on the rectangle, go to format, merge shapes, and then click on subtract. So I'm just left with half a triangle. When I'm happy, I'm just gonna press on control D to duplicate it. And then I'm just gonna to go to home, arrange, rotate, and then flip horizontal like this. And I'm gonna make another triangle just like that. Just make sure it's perfectly aligned so that there are no issues from that end. So let's just make sure it's everything fine. Everything looks fine. Yeah, I think that's okay. So I'm gonna click on both of these shapes now, go to format, click on merge shapes, and click on union, right? Make sure it doesn't have an outline again. So with this rectangle that we left before, right, we're gonna just, you know, make it straight, place it just over here, bring it to front so we know exactly where it is. 
try and bring it as close as we can to the middle as possible. I think that looks fine. Now we're gonna click on the triangle again, click on the rectangle again, go to format, merge shapes, and then click on subtract. And there we go. There is the basis of our triangle infographic. However, we are still not done. This is only just one shape, right? We wanna make it three individual shapes. So with the basis of our infographic complete, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna press on Control D to duplicate the slide, right? We're gonna keep two different slides, right, with the exact same shape. And the reason why is we're gonna use one of these slides for one thing and the other slide for another thing. So as we said before, uh, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make three different shapes that make up this triangle. And to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on shapes, click on this rectangle and just draw out the rectangle over the triangle just like this. Doesn't matter about the size, we, we don't care about anything else. The important thing is that this shape is taking over the entire rectangle. And we're actually going to change the color of that so we know which is which. So I'm gonna send that to back, boom. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna click on the triangle, then we're gonna click on the uh, rectangle, go to format, go to merge shapes, and then click on fragment. That way we have one, two, three shapes that we're only concerned with, we can delete the rest, boom. All right, so now every single one of these is now a different shape that you guys can see here. It is very, very easy for us to play around with. So with that out the way, we can now move on to the second slide here where we're going to make a shadow effect, right, using this triangular shape over here. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean, right? So I'm gonna to go to insert, I'm gonna click on shapes, and then I'm gonna click on this triangle over here. I'm gonna draw the triangle like this, same rules as before apply, I'm gonna make it orange, no outline, and I'm also going to make the transparency 50%. So I think it's a bit too big, right? So I think this, I think would be good, I guess. Let's just try and aim for something a bit bigger. All right, there we go. I think that looks fine. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna click on the uh, blue shape first, then the orange shape second, go to format, go to merge shapes, and then we're gonna click on intersect over there so that what we're gonna do here is we're gonna change it to black, and we're also gonna change the, more, the, the transparency to around 80%. We're gonna copy it, and we're gonna paste it here, and boom. There's your shadow effect. So now any color that you change any of these shapes to, you're gonna get a darker shade in the middle, just like this. Do you see what I mean? Any color you want. That is the beauty of PowerPoint, ladies and gentlemen, and that is why you deserve to be on SlideCal today, to learn stuff like this. Step two, start coloring. All right, so this step is just, you know, I don't even know why I made this a step, but whatever. Right, we're gonna actually color it in using these three colors that I've selected over here. And because we already have a shadow effect, we don't need to do anything fancy. All you have to do is just click on, you know, the color that you want or whatever fill color that you have. And I'm just gonna go to Format Painter and let's actually make this one the pink color. We're gonna make this one the blue color. And we're gonna make this one the orange color that we had earlier. And that is a beautiful looking infographic, all because we had this shadow effect over here. It still looks reasonably well with this, but this is really the selling effect. It gives, it, it gives the slide perspective, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna keep these colors to the side because we might need them later. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm just gonna group these guys up here and um, I'm gonna put this in the middle of our slide. We're gonna probably move it later. Sorry, the uh, middle of the left side of our slide. Again, we're gonna, probably gonna move it later, but for right now, I think this would be uh, okay for us to play around with, I guess. So that would be the second step completed. Step three, add the icons and the text. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be using these icons over here. These are custom made icons from a PowerPoint template that you can buy today on slidecal.com. Let me just show you really quickly what this template consists of because it is a fantastic template, right? That is based off the theme of doing more, motivation, hustle, right? Fulfillment, it's all about that stuff. It keeps reminding you that you really need to, like you need to push your game with PowerPoint and the slides are delicious. They're incredible and I know that you guys love them. All of my SlideCal subscribers already love them. You know, and, and every single person that purchased it right, uh, right now is very, very, very happy with the slides, right? But to go on to the section that I want to take you guys to really quick, it's the icons over here. Now, as you can see, these icons are custom made icons. They are completely editable, as you can see right over there. I can change the color of any one of them to whatever I would like. 
So as you can see, you know, they're all beautiful, they're all great. And if you'd like to see more of this template, then please click on the link in the description or click on the info button on the top right corner right now. But as I said, for right now, I'm gonna be using these guys right here, right? So with these uh, little icons that I have, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this icon in the middle of this triangle and I'm gonna blow it up like you see by pressing shift up, shift right until I get a reasonably good size. So I think that this size over here, maybe that's a little bit too big. I think this would be perfect. Let's just move that up. And I'm going to color this icon in particular using the colors of the triangle infographic that we had earlier. So I'm just gonna press on control shift G to ungroup everything and let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a dark blue color just like this and I'm gonna make these guys over here a light blue. I'm gonna make this guy over here also a light blue, I guess. Now let's get creative. Let's make the circles for the coins this uh, darkish pink color. I'm gonna make this one the lightish pink color, as you can see here. And for these guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna highlight all of them. I'm gonna make the little um, lines over here. I'm gonna make them the dark orange color, just like that. And I'm gonna make the big ones the bright orange color that you saw earlier, which is just over here. I'm gonna do the same thing for these guys over there. So, dark orange and light orange. So that way, what this icon does, right, is it encompasses all the elements of this triangle. It sort of communicates that this is, you know, the main principle behind all these three different segments of the same infographic. And what we can do now is we can just group that up, we can bring that up here, and we can also bring in a text box over here, type in title, and we can center it and change this to Ostrich Sands Black, which is a great font that I seriously think that you guys should check out. I love this font a lot. So I'm gonna center these guys together here, group it up. You know, it could be, this title could be anything, it could be su successful reasons, whatever you guys want, you know, it's all up to you you could play around with it however you like, right? So with these three icons that we have over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight these guys, bring them down a bit, and uh, before I even play around with the icons and the coloring and whatnot, I'm just gonna add our text box so we can see what it looks like on our slide. So I'm going to go to insert, I'm gonna click on text box, I'm just gonna draw the text box that looks like this, and I'm just gonna post some gibberish right now, but you can type in whatever you'd like. I'm gonna change the font size of this to, let's go with 12. I think 12 would be good. I'm gonna make this a Calibri light. 12 is fine. I'm gonna type in title over here so that you guys can get a feeling of what's going on. So I'm gonna change it to the same title that we had before, which is Austrian Sands Black. I'm gonna make this one maybe a 14 actually would be better. Yeah, 14 would be good. And I'm going to just bring that up here and of course, make sure that everything is aligned. So align, is it align middle? Yeah, it is align middle. Um, I'm going to color this icon, the, um, the blue color that we had earlier. I think that looks great, I like it a lot. So we're going to do the same thing for the other two icons. I'm gonna bring this one down here. Make sure that it's aligned. This one, yep. And I'm gonna make this one a pink color. Oops, made it white by accident. There we go, that's our pink color. Bring that down here, same thing. Make this one our orange color, as you can see, just over there. All right, perfect. So with that all done, we can now change the color of the title if you would like. So I'm going to go with a blue over here, a pink over here, let's go home and do that. And of course, an orange over here. And there we go, looks beautiful, looks great, I'm very happy with it. And with that done, what we can do is we can group these guys up together, we can move that to the center a bit, move that down, and we can add our title. So I'm just gonna take this text box, just copy it, you know, no big deal. Delete this and type in keeping it simple with 
triangle infographics. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna put that in the center here. I'm gonna increase the uh, font size a bit. And I'm gonna make this black. All right, cool. So let's just increase that a bit more. Yep, that looks great. I can bring this down just a bit more so there's more space on the slide for everyone to play around with. I think that looks fantastic. Okay, and I think that would be the third step completed. Please note the fourth step is optional. This is, you know, completely up to you. If you want to stop here, that's up to you. But for those who want that little bit of extra flair, follow along to the fourth step. Step four, add a creative touch. All right, so we've, we've done almost everything. What I want to do now is I want to grab this little uh, box color thing that we made before. I'm going to bring it down here, right? I'm actually going to reduce our uh, guideline to the bottom here, which is around 8.9. I'm going to do the same thing over here to 8.9, just to ensure consistency. Okay. And I'm going to bring that just over here and I'm just going to expand it all the way so we hit that. All right, perfect. Then I'm just gonna bring the second one over here. I'm going to make sure that both sizes are exactly the same. So this is the height of 0.62 centimeters. So that would be 0.62 centimeters, yes it is. So, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this, right? And uh, I'm going to actually make this half the width that it is now. So it's 10.2 now. That means it'd be 5.1 or around there later. So that would be 5.1. I'll bring another one here, just like that. And I'll make this one just a tad longer as well. All right, so before you ask what I'm doing, just hold on. And I'm gonna make this one an orange. I'm gonna make this one a blue. So really easy you know, addition that we have over here, a flare, but it really brings out the slide just a bit more, right? And you can actually add this to all of your slides in the, uh, in the same deck. So if you had something else, like, I don't know, if you had like uh, our customer service or whatever, and you wanted to remove this infographic and put in something completely different, you can actually leave this bottom part over there and keep it consistent throughout the deck. It actually themes your deck and brings your message together. But that is it for this tutorial. I'm really, really, really happy that you guys are enjoying SlideCow, SlideCow's products, you know, SlideCow's blog posts, SlideCow's tutorials. We've been working really hard, really hard for you guys. And don't get me wrong, we love it. We absolutely love it. Please show your support, show your, show your love by, um, by liking this video if you could. And please do, 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 do share it with your friends. And of course, leave me a comment, send me an email. You guys, I respond to everybody. I reply to everybody. I read everything. It's fantastic. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. This is Yoyo signing off. Bye-bye.